Ah, uh, April Fool's Day, where 50% of us are immature idiots, and the other 50% is trying to avoid looking like him an immature idiot. But when, where, and most importantly why, did this day of pretending spaghetti grows on trees and Taco Bell buying the Liberty Bell begin? Well, the nearest possible date that can be identified as the inception of the tradition is in 1582 in France. It's important to note this isn't the only origin story, but it would take far too long to explore all of them. Thus, I would appreciate if no comments yelling at me about it. Thank you. Anyway, the New Year used to be celebrated from March 25th to the April 1st. April 1st being their New Year. However, Charles IX introduced the Gregorian calendar, which moved New Year's Day to where it is, where some nations have it today, January 1st. However, due to the slow speed of news back then, Many people didn't hear about the change for years, and others simply ignored the change. These people were referred to as fools, and made the receiving end of many practical jokes. Over time, this practice turned into a tradition of prank playing on the first day of April. The tradition then spread to England and Scotland in the 18th century. Later, it was introduced in the colonies of both the English and the French. April Fool's Day transcended into an international day of fun from there, with many people of many countries developing their own brands of humor for the day at the expense of everyone around them. Mexico, for example, on December 28th, celebrates their own April Fool's Day. April Fool's with pranks and trickery. The day used to be in remembrance of the slaughter of an innocent child under King Harad, but it's evolved into a much lighter commemoration since then. Scotland celebrates April Fool's Day for two days. The second day is devoted for planks involving the posterior region of the body. Aptly named Taily Day is where the origin of the kick me can be found. Media will also get involved in the prank. For, for example, in 2008, NPR, National Public Radio, announced the iBod, a portable body control device. Also in 2008, the BBC, or British Broadcasting Company, reported on a newly discovered colony of flying penguins. They even made an elaborate video segment on this topic exactly with Terry Jones of Monty Python. Despite all the trickery and pranks, it's important to know that even though April Fool's Day isn't a national holiday in any country, it reminds us all not to take life so seriously one day a year, and we thank it for that. And to all of you fool-hating people out there, I think Mark Twain says it best. Let us be thankful for the fools, but for them, the rest of us could not succeed.